pedal aficionados. Space Cat. Um, he's a hero. <laughs> it's this time of the year where we all forget about the Rona and talk about Warros Audio, who have a new pedal. And it's pretty clever. I mean, the name, not the pedal. The pedal is a damn overdrive. But overdrives have been there for ages. Look, I have a manual. It's got a rhino on it. The quad horn rhino. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Um, there's information in here that I can read to you or not, or I can just play the damn pedal. It looks like this. It's the Aegis Overdrive. Top mounted, ins and outs, soft clicky switch, as all the Walrus Audio pedals now have. Beautiful, uh, what's that thing called? Graphic on it. And I can see Leslie's loading up the side view to show you the pedal from the side view. And there it is. Beautifully, riffly kind of knobs, a typical quality you expect from Warriors Audio. And if they don't deliver that quality on a daily basis, you can go over there and smack them around. They love that shit. So we have a manual and no cunt. A manual cunt? It wasn't the C word, you dirty, dirty people. Um, well, we have this thing, which is volume, that makes it loud and not so loud. Gain makes it less cranky and more cranky. Bass makes it uh, boomy and nothing happens and less boomy. And then, and then, ooh, you know? Bass and treble. Okay, but what's, what's with the clock in the middle? And then Roman numerals. Numerals. This is five freaking drives in one, which means you spend one time the money and you get five times the drives, not at the same time, but one at a time, which is all the drive you need. That's a low gain. That's a low gain. That's a row gain in case you have no... It's a low gain mode. No, what? No. Mm. Symmetric silicone soft clipping, compressed and smooth. I don't know what symmetric silicone soft clipping is. You know, Brian Wampler might know that Stuart Tate, um, Robert Keeley, the freaks at Walrus Audio. I'm not a nerd, okay? Not like a doggy dude who knows what symmetric soft clipping is. I guess I just have to hear, but I mean, compressed and smooth, that helps us. Um, then there's a low gain mode with symmetric LED soft clipping, which is pushed, open, and sparkly. I like sparkly. Then we go into high gain mode with symmetric silicone soft clipping, increased saturation and tightness, I would say. But what do I know? It says tight. The high gain mode. With symmetric soft, no, with symmetric LED soft clipping, saturated, punchy, and big. Words, are words, that just could be empty words, we don't know, until we hear it, which we don't right now. And there's mode number five, which is a high gain mode with symmetric silicone hard clipping, which is heavy compression, thick and chewy. <laughs> Get it? That's a Star Wars joke. Five different things, two low gain, three row gain. High gain. Um, we are doing this with the Stone King Sky King, which is somewhere under a finger right there. Super clean amp, awesome pedal platform. I'm playing Peachy, my Metro D from Le Friedman, uh, which is a very cool, very articulated, punchy guitar. It's a set neck, mahogany, and I think ash. What do I know? But it sounds like so. <laughs> Going into the Ox by Universal Audio on a 412 cab loaded with cream backs because I like them because they're creamy. Okay, we move on with. Oh, there's also the. Did we talk about this? No, I completely jumped over the dry knob. Um, this has no dry. It's all wet, so only the drive. And this has only the. I don't know. I don't know. Only the dry? Probably not. But a lot of dry. And um, that gives more of the dry guitar to the amp, therefore making the amp a little bit more responsive, uh, res responding to a cleaner. So if you have a driving amp, that could be the solution to keep it nice and open.
What the? What? What the? More dry in there. That's a beautiful low gain drive. Probably killer to push an amp even further. Let's keep it here. That's a little bit thicker, a little bit wider. too much fun that's good more with the clean extremely compressed <laughs> moving on to uh, this thing which is a uh, high gain saturated and tight <laughs> I wouldn't call it high gain, but most certainly more gain than modes one and two. Mode number four. LED soft clipping, saturated, punchy, and big. Well, let's, let's see. <laughs> Oh, 
And then mode number five, uh, which is this many. <laughs> Silicon hard clipping, heavy compression, thick and chewy. Damn D-string. Peterson Strobel Stomp HD, best tuner on the market right now. Links below. <laughs> That by itself could be a good lead song. So it does a shit ton. So we can't take all five modes into tons of amps. We're gonna take the mode into the amp where I think it makes sense. And we're gonna go uh, with the Morgan AC20, which is already a little bit cranky. So I'm gonna take mode number two, do some clean. but that's cool. So if you want to push an amp, that'll do. Let's go into the mini plexi by Marshall, which is right. behind this ear. Damn, this pick is thick, uh, thinner now. Can I tell I need less bass? That's cool, just I switched the mode and we're in a different world. So let's go into uh, the Rev D20. Pedal platform amp. <laughs> With the gain pulled on it, see what happens. That works! Rockerburp 50. You can stay there. I'm 
I'm thinking we need all drive, no clean there. <laughs> I look stupid. And after all this, Leslie was on the phone. The orange. all the amps. Uh, I want to see how it can push the ecstasy module in the SYN50 on the blue channel for leads. I said for leads. <laughs> So we're going to leave some clean in there. We're going to start with a low gain setting around here. Probably some bass and see what happens. Try more gain. Where's all your ages? Uh, so if you have a small pedal board and you don't know which drive to take, take the ages because it's a uh, five and one. Is it really five and one though? Well. There is a subtle difference between mode 1 and 2, and there are subtle differences between mode 2 and 4 and 5. Uh, 3 and 4 and 5, that comes after 2. I'm going to do this again. There are subtle differences between modes 1 and 2, and there are subtle differences between mode 3 and 4 and 5, which technically makes it a very distinctly two-mode overdrive with subtle changes within the 5, if you can follow me. So it's two drives in one, whereas in reality it's like three drives in one, kind of. So really five drives in one, the different, it's not drastic changes, but they're there in terms of feel and thickness and thickitude. Uh, so let's say three drives in one, but you only pay for one, which is great. And it's warrants audio quality, it's cool people, funny people, bearded people, flannel wearing people, you know you love those guys. Um, and the clean, the, the, the dry thing is cool because you can, you know, send more dry signal to your amp, therefore retaining the amp's character and all that stuff. Um, there's a lot to like here. And it's a cool overdrive to have in the studio. Instead of, oh, I need a low gain thing and a high gain thing. You put that on the table and you have variations. And as I said, on a fly rig, it would be great because you're not bringing all the drives. You bring that one. And all you got to do is, depending on the situation, Bend down and change things. But obviously, you can't switch that and there's no MIDI and all that stuff. Don't be silly. Wars Audio, again, with a good pedal. Again, with the video that I'm getting paid for, which I'm happy about, um, which uh, we have a long-term relationship. Uh, they know I bitch about stuff. If I want to bitch about stuff, in this case, it's an overdrive. I mean, for the ages. And, and it's got a turtle on it. Pfft, awesome. Uh, talking about turtles, thank you, Leslie, for switching even though there was a long period in the middle where you didn't. 
And shut up. <laughs> I'm just saying, I was bored. Um, I entertain you so well with these videos, okay? And I was bored. Sorry. Um, I'm gonna link to this below. Please use those links, even if you want to buy something else, because that still counts. <laughs> so thank you for that. Uh, subscribe and do all that stuff in the Instagram. That really helps if you go to Instagram and say follow this guy, and then mute me or something. Um, thanks, Colt, Phil, Jason, all the Warriors people. I love you guys. And for you now, only for you. I never usually do this. Just for you. Animals at the end. <laughs>